full week removed now from severe winter weather, keeping our children out of the classroom for over a week. We're on your side tonight, learning more about what a week off from school means to your children's education, especially with an important standardized test coming this spring. WAFF 48's Matthew King is live in Huntsville. And Matthew, how are school districts catching up on the lost time in the classroom? I well, reached out to several of our area school districts today and they all agree right now they're actually relatively on pace for that academic calendar. They do say those few days off that's a little bit of a bump in the road, but they believe they had some spare time built in for those extra weather days. Class is back in session after a brief disturbance from Mother Nature. Schools across the Tennessee Valley were out the third week in January, with some districts like Lauderdale County Schools out for nine to ten school days in a row. You just got to be flexible and, and figure it out once you go. Whitney Coates with Lauderdale County Schools says the winter storm put a halt to learning, but teachers will write the course for on-time curriculum. It, it, it's going to be a big deal. It's a lot of change and things are coming quickly, but I really do think we're prepared for it. They, they knew this was coming. They knew there was potential for weather and so a lot of teachers kind of went ahead and made plans. They may not have made 10 day plans, um, but you know, they had that opportunity to kind of plan ahead a little bit. In an important semester with test scores deciding if third graders will be held back, she says it's more important than ever for teachers to stay on schedule for students, but not overwhelm them with a task at hand. No one wants for that pressure to come as soon as you get back. We've missed 10 days. Now let's talk about this and let's put this pressure on you. That's not going to be the case and has not been the case since we've returned. William Tunnell with the Alabama Education Association says students test scores shouldn't be in jeopardy due to the timing of the closures. In a lot of cases, missing four or five days of the school year will not necessarily result in learning loss. It may result in a little bit of a delay. We're just going to get to this material just a little bit later. Or a teacher may need to short one activity in that material just to, you know, to be able to make up that time and absorb that material as you continue to move forward. The goal is to, by the end of the year, you've met all of your academic objectives for that year so that the students have received all the material. Well, several of your school officials, they actually say right now everything's pretty much back to normal with those of uh, only a few students having to do a couple of extra makeup assignments to really keep on the pace that they're at. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matthew King, 48 on your side.